Hello everyone, welcome to the Escape from Tarkov Keys and Controls tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you all the things that you're supposed to know in terms of all the keys and controls in regards to the game itself. So let's get started. Of course the basic things you have W, A, S, and D. W is forward, S is back, A is right, D, A is left, I mean D is right. And then you get the leaning, which is the Q, you lean left. It's nice when you peek in behind a door or E is to lean right. Now, if you're walking to run, you can, uh, when you're walking forward, you tap shift, left shift, and you start running. You tap left shift again and you stop. Left shift, you run, and then you stop. Of course, on the bottom right side, you see that sort of turquoise color bar is filling up and going down as I run. is going down now. And then it goes back up. That's the stamina, so you can't run forever. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, that being said, right click is, of course, a zoom in to actually see where, uh, with your scope. Now... In regards to moving quietly, it's a caps lock. So if I'm if I'm walking, if you look on the bottom left side above the stamina bar, there's these dots. You see the arrow that's moving from the minimum to the maximum. So I'm walking and then I hit caps lock and I'm walking very quietly. Now I'm walking normally, I make a lot of noise. Caps lock, walking very quietly. Now you can control the same thing using the mouse wheel. So if I scroll down, it goes down. If I scroll slowly up, I go a little bit faster. Of course, the, the higher you walk, the more noise you make. So there you go. You can control the amount of noise that you do with the mouse wheel as well. Now, of course, to fire, you fire with the left mouse click. So if you fire with the if you click the left mouse button, you fire. All right now, if you have an automatic gun, you can tap B to switch between the modes. Now, some have only single and full automatic, and some have semi-automatic and full automatic. So it's up to you. So if I got a full automatic, you fire as well. And of course R is to reload. Fast reload. Fast reload of course uh, allows you to have the gun reloaded much quicker. So if you double tap R, he drops it, you see? Uh, way quicker. But of course you have the clip on the ground. So in case you're panicking and you're hitting RRR all the damn times to reload, because you're stuck in the animation, you will drop your mag. So be careful if you tap in the R very, very quickly. And Alt and T is to check how much ammo you got in that mag. Alt and T, about half, so probably around 10, right? What you could do is if I shoot again, as you see this mag is 20 from 20. I shoot again, question mark, I have no idea how many are left. Alt and T, about half, so probably around 10, a little bit more. That was like around four or five shots, I think, something like that. To another point. Actually, a pretty cool point in terms of the cursors. Each of your guns has, of course, the uh, sort of uh, cursor. Whatever. Uh, target cursor, the red little dot. If you hold Alt and right-click, you can change it. Uh, each, of course, uh, scope has, if it's compatible, it will change the cursor itself, or it won't. So, uh, up to you. That's pretty cool as well. So here's a gun that has a few more scopes. If you hold then the left control and right click, you switch the scope. And then of course I can change the cursor, but I know that this one, if so if I hold alt and right click, nothing changes. This would change in case the scope is compatible for zooming in and zooming out. Some scopes have like different zoom in, two different like lenses that you can switch between. This one, of course, if I hold the alt and right click, nothing happens. And if I switch my scope again using the left control, holding the left control and right click, then I have a scope that actually supports changing of the cursor. So if I hold Alt and right-click, you see it switches between the variations that the scope has. The laser sight, like this one on the left side, or has a flashlight, you can activate it by hitting T. So T switches on your laser sight or the flashlight. Right? Grenades! Grenades you got in your uh, either in your pocket or in your vest. They have to be in your pocket or in your vest to throw. G is to throw them. And then, one of the most important things that a few people don't know is you can hotlink stuff. You can actually hotlink stuff. So, you see on the bottom I have between 1 to 3 is the weapons technically. V is the melee weapon and then 4 to 0 is the actual hot uh, shortcuts, whatever, hot links or shortcuts. So I can drag and drop stuff there. So if I drag the car kit and drop it to 4, 
drag the medical, drop it to six, and drag the silly will drop it to five. So if I hit four, I heal. If I hit five, I heal. And if I hit six, I pop my pinker. This way I can run, and while I'm getting shot, I can hit four and five to heal. Of course, in the later patches, there will be an animation for healing, so having it half linked will be cool, but you gotta really think about where you wanna heal. The thing to know is hitting O. O shows how much time you have left on the top right side. And then if you double tap O, if you double tap O, it'll show you the extraction points as well. The question marks show that means the extraction can and cannot be available. These are one of these, like, maybe extractions. And the ones without the question mark are the guaranteed extractions. So it is up to you. You want to risk going there, all the way there, to see if it's there. Or you want to take the guaranteed extraction, which is generally most of the time on the other side. Or the most inconvenient one. And then the final thing that I think you guys should know is looting. Looting stuff is of course F. Opening doors and looting and everything else is F. You do that. That's really pretty much it for the basic controls. Tutorials for Escape from Tarkov. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like. And uh, see you guys in another video. Arios, and let me know in case you'd like me to do another tutorial on something else. See ya.